Hello guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel. So in today's video, uh, even though I'm not on the correct page to start the video, here we are, we are going to be going through the upcoming Spring Weekly Forza Thon Challenge uh, of Series 34. So this is the last Forza Thon Challenge we'll have in Series 34 before we move on into Series 35. Now you may uh, you may know um, if you use uh, or if you follow other Forza socials on whatever uh, or other YouTubers that do uh, like update videos. Uh, sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Um, you'll probably know that we've had a few clues for update 35. Um, this was the other day, and uh, Forza uh, shortly after scheduled the update 33 live stream or Forza monthly, whatever you want to call it. Um, for the 27th, uh, 29th of April, sorry, which is tomorrow, uh, Thursday, the 29th of April, which is the day of the season change to spring. Um, so that is kind of usually what happens. We get the clues uh, sometime during winter, uh, and then the live stream happens normally on the Monday of spring, um, but this time it's uh, actually the, fr uh, the Thursday, so... Uh, apparently I've heard, uh, I don't use Twitter or follow Forza socials uh, myself apart from like uh, on their YouTube and Twitch um, but I've heard that there's something big coming um, not really sure whether that means, I don't think it'll be a new feature but it could be the high stakes for Super 7 because they were on about that in the last update and um, I saw for example Skippy, JKX3X have done videos uh, and there appears to be five clues uh, hinting to things uh, and people have kind of guessed five cars uh, things such as like the Tesla Roadster and uh, Citroen DS3 um, what was the other one? Oh yes the DMC DeLorean from Back to the Future and one of my friends if you're watching you'll know who you are um, really wanted the, 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 the DeLorean to be in this game. Uh, he hasn't played it for a while actually. I don't think he's played it um, for a good few months now because he's more into Minecraft and stuff and other games, uh, Halo and stuff, but uh, I think if the DeLorean gets added he'll definitely he'll be straight on and he'll be he'll be using it. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully that is a reason for him to play the game again. Um, a car that he really really loves. Uh, and that he wants to own in the future but it probably won't happen unfortunately sorry to tell you that um, well you never know it might do um, so yeah update 35 we'll get to know tomorrow uh, I think it's uh, 6 or 7 p.m. GMT uh, I'm a bit late recording this video um, because I wasn't very prepared so I had to make sure I got all the tunes ready and that and Forza decided that I'd reach the max amount of tunes again so I was trying to find a car with a tune on it that I didn't need to, to delete so that's very annoying and I've been filling in the description and stuff my laptop takes forever to do the thumbnails and stuff it's yeah you get it but anyway we're here so now on to the subject of this video we're going to be going through uh, the Ford on which is called little car big personality no it isn't it's called a British icon Oh well, I've put the wrong thing in the description and the thumbnail, so now I'll have to change that. Yay! Uh, so you will actually be reading the correct thing. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. I also put it on the name of the tune as well in the description of the tune. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's still part of the Forzathon. So the Forzathon's called a British icon. I read the little car big personality bit. Whoops. Uh, so you'll win 100 Forzathon points, uh, or you'll win 200 if you own the Lake Lodge house, which is five million, or free with VIP pass, which of course comes with Ultimate Edition, or you can buy it separately. As uh, so I would highly recommend that you get the Lake Lodge. Um, if you don't already because you get double thousand points in weeklies, dailies, the bonus for completing seven dailies and the weekly um, you get double on thousand lives as well um, so it's it's a, it, it helps you if you're fairly new to the game there's a few cars that you're missing or you uh, want to buy duplicates from the thousand shop or whatever it, it helps um, I've been spending quite a lot recently so I haven't got many left I've only got about a thousand I haven't spent any this week uh, so far, but we'll see what's in the Forsland shop in spring. Maybe it'll be something interesting. Um, so yes, let's get on with it. So chapter one is called Little Car, Big Personality. Own drive one of the most famous cars ever built, a 1965 Mini Cooper S. So yes, that is the Mr. Bean Mini, if you're wondering. 
and the car that Mr Bean drove in Mr Bean obviously um, might, might not be exactly the same model but it is the same kind of car um, so th I think this car's in the auto show um, but I'm also not sure whether it's a barn find unless I'm being mistaken I seem to think it's a barn find um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but most people will, but will have it uh, anyway and you, ca you can find them on the auction anyway so um, they're not rare at all which is why they're using it but it is a very nice car obviously won, mer won many uh, rally uh, kind of events uh, in the past uh, and it's just a really nice car um, really when you see it on the roads and that in real life it's quite a nice sight um, to see um, so yes, let's get on with it. So once you've got in your car, uh, tunes probably aren't needed, but they'll definitely help you, uh, especially for the last chapter where you'll need a bit more than about 60 horsepower, or uh, however many horsepower it has stock. So uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute, but I would highly recommend um, that you put a tune in it, whether it be you just tune it up yourself uh, or I've got two tunes actually one's with the stock engine which is the one I'm in now which is a little bit mental and one's with the turbo rally um, which is uh, slightly hard to control um, but you don't really need to be um, kind of really able to control it for these chapters but you'll get what I mean um, so if you've got a tune um, once you've got your tune, you can then mon move on to Plucky Off-Road Hero. It was a rally champion back in the day, so win two dirt racing series events in your mini to get a feel for it. Um, so you have to win, so that's not just complete, you have to win two dirt racing series events. It doesn't spe specify sprint or circuit, so you can do whatever you want. Um, they, they can be the standard events, and I've of course got a blueprint for you to use if you want to get it done quickly, so I'll show that in a second. So once you've won two and it's popped up saying you've won two, um, remember not to click restart at the end of the first race because then it'll just keep counting one. You have to go fully back out and in again. And you can then move on to the next chapter, Asphalt Champion. It was a champion on Asphalt 2, which is basically like Tarmac Road. Win two road racing series events in your mini. So again you have to win uh, and this time it's road racing. It, again, doesn't specify circuit or sprint. Um, so you can do standard events once again, um, or if you want to, I've created, I've got a couple of blueprints. I've got one sprint, one circuit. In fact, I think I've got two circuits, um, but sprints uh, of course quicker. So once you've done that, without clicking restart at the end, and, you, and it's popped up saying you've done it, you can then move on to the final chapter, Run a Bean. Now you've won everything, celebrate in style by earning a total of 75,000 skill score in your mini. So that's what I mean by you'll need a bit more power to kind of slide it around, smash things without timing out your skill chain and having to keep on going and going. So you don't have to do this in one skill chain, it is a total. Um, but if you're doing multiplier of 5, then that is 15,000. So it's not particularly that hard. I'd say probably with the airstrip uh, would be the easiest, or Bamber Castle area. Um, or well the motorway if you have a tune on it and you're going up and down the motorway and you miss trading paint speed skills um whatever whatever you want drift around edinburgh it's totally up to you not a particularly challenging um chapter uh, and i think the whole force of them really is quite quite um, a fun experience in your mini um so i'll show you my um blueprints now and also the tunes uh, remember this isn't available until Thursday which is tomorrow depending on when you're watching the video Thursday the 29th of April when the season changes at 3.30pm GMT then you'll have access to this and the rest of the spring season, we'll just have a quick sneak a peeker now um, so in the spring season uh, you've got the Renault Clio and the VW IDR they're both quite good cars there is the Forzathon itself uh, you do have another showcase remix and we also have the firebird from 68 from phoenix from the ashes that is the second new car of this this month which as you can see is in the monthly rival so i'll be uh, trying to beat stephen uh, it's the last week to do the monthly rivals and online adventure so i'll be trying to beat stephen i think i'm i think i'm currently in, still in the top 500 400 haven't checked in a while but um, I'll be trying to beat Stephen's score. I'm po about 0.5 or 6 of a second off, so that's what I'll be doing some point this week. Um, so that is in spring, so that is when you're able to complete this, if you're wondering. Um, so the tunes, if I show you, the share codes are in the description, as well as for the tracks. So this is the uh, with the Turbo Rally in it, so it is a bit harder to control because it's 
got way more power than the car is able to control um, realistically um, but there is the share code for that so one double zero nine one five five nine zero if you didn't quite catch that it's in the description there's my c-class seasonal tune if you really want to use that feel free it's a god at handling uh, i'll put the share code up there but it's not in the description and then you have the Fosdon v2 um, which is just with the stock engine maxed out it can only have 278 horsepower but it's enough to be controllable and enough to complete the challenge um, so that share code for that is 182-270-998 again they are in the description and my blueprints uh, of course it's done that uh, creator for some reason in tunes and stuff it like keeps your most recent search when you've done quick resume not fully rebooted the game but in blueprints it resets it every time it's very annoying right there we go so there's the quick road sprint uh, go left basically you go straight through the finish line then driver tells to go off behind the building and amble side you just turn left you'll see the finish line and the share code for that is 181310853 again that's in the description um, then you have the dirt forzathon go straight do what it says go straight maybe stick to the right a bit as the driver has go in a tree and they might end up wiping you out on the way um, but maybe stay to the right a bit there so share code for that is 13127469 and then the road circuit go left to you set off do a handbrake turn go round uh, you'll see another checkpoint handbrake turn across the finish line pretty simple if you want to do a circuit of course you have 103-595-485 um, so that is how you complete this Forzathon I um, can't remember what it's called uh, a British icon so if you enjoyed today's video um, do, don't forget to give it a like and I'd also massively appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel uh, a massive thank you for 75 subscribers actually we're at 77 at the time of recording so that is absolutely amazing roll to 100 subscribers thank you all so much it has literally been um, I can't really describe how, how happy I am um, I didn't really expect to be doing this but more cool content uh, hopefully we'll have some more live streams again this week there might only be one live stream this week the festival playlist one but we'll see how we go um, with them um, so yes thank you all for watching if you did enjoy this video um, let me know down in the comments uh, your opinions or anything else you have to say um, and I'll see you all tomorrow um, for the monthly live stream from Forza and also the seasonal completion guide so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later bye